Hi everyone, Andrea here, and we are getting ready to start our second week of summer. And last week we were at home here in Jackson, and now we're getting ready to go and travel around Michigan. And today um, we are going to read a book about different places in Michigan, and you'll hear from myself and Cassie and John today. So like I said, we're getting ready to go. I'm gonna come back and you can see it on the core board, go. Getting ready to go around Michigan. And today I said we're going to start a book, going to read a book called I'm a Michigan Kid. I'm a Michigan Kid, written by Gary Bauer, illustrated by Jan Bauer. Surrounded by mighty freshwater seas, forests of hardwood and evergreen trees, orchards and farms, lakes and streams, and wonderful people pursuing their dreams. That's where I live. I'm a Michigan kid. Two peninsulas, grand and free. Raise one voice and call to me. Look around you. Come explore our 3,200 miles of shore. Peninsulas shaped like a mitten and sack. Call as I stand at the end of my dock. But how can I cross between upper and lower? I need a boat with a very strong rower, or a very long bridge like the mighty Mac, the easiest way to get over and back. I look to the east and far below. What do I see going to and fro? Boats heading south, boats heading north. People filled ferries speed back and forth. To Mackinac Island, a charming place where modern day folks move at yesterday's pace. No cars are allowed, so I must decide. Go by foot, by bike, or by carriage ride. Back on the mainland, in the UP, all kinds of marvels are waiting for me, like ship after ship in the busy Sioux locks, to Quaminon Falls and Pitchard Rocks. What kind of creatures would you guess roam through this wilderness? Bear, raccoon, deer, and moose, even wolves are on the loose. While on my lake's superior trip, I just might stop and take a dip. In any month, on any day, its chill can take your breath away. On the lower peninsula, what do I find? Breathtaking places that dazzle my mind. Sailboats glide on sparkling bays. Breakers rise in misty sprays. What lies inland? Check it out. Lakes and rivers filled with trout. It's great to have such clean, fresh air and water, water everywhere. Walleye, musky, perch, and bass. What lie beneath a pool of glass? I wonder just how long it takes to fish 11,000 lakes. Family farms raise herds and crops. Nearby towns have lots of shops. Across a hillside blows a breeze through rows and rows of apple trees. In bold and blue artistic strokes, past maples, birches, pines, and oaks, peaceful rivers wind their way through sandy soil, rock, and clay. Nippy air and autumn leaves mean shorter days and longer sleeves. Winter drifts of snow are cool. We sometimes even cancel school. Soon a robin will appear, indicating spring is near. Plants begin to bloom and climb. Suddenly it's tulip time. Summer, autumn, winter, spring. We're celebrating everything. Different cultures, different ways. Different kinds of holidays. Bright balloons that sail the skies. Cherry jams and cherry pies. The laws of my beautiful paradise home are made underneath a majestic white dome where lawmakers work with the goal of enhancing this state that we love from our capital, Lansing. Our great universities make us proud. Wow, this crowd is really loud. Mom roots for the Spartans, but dad, Wolverines, I guess they're alumni, whatever that means. Detroit is our largest city by far, the great motor city, the home of the car. Its future is bright, its past we revere. 
and its sports fans are loyal year after year. Grand Rapids is very interesting too. So are Muskegon and Kalamazoo, Saginaw, Flint, and Battle Creek. I could go on and on for a week. From Alpena to Zeeland, Marquette to Monroe, Michigan's awesome wherever you go. In every beautiful city and town, from border to border, like gems in a crown, among all the wonders to see and to do, are wonderful people, people like you. I'm a Michigan kid, and it's always exciting. Now, I hope you'll excuse me, the walleye are biting. <laughs>